Hello, and welcome to Archvelda's Hacks with Archvelda and his amazing hacks. This is a short video about the drama engulfing the gold-making community. I wanted to shed some light rather than heat on the issue. Now, some days ago, after Patch 7.35 came out, gold farmers quickly discovered that Zulfarak, and it turns out many other instances, had bugged loot tables and were dropping items from vanilla instances, which are now very valuable, since the only people who had them were those who farmed those instances before Cataclysm. Various gold farmers made videos about this. Sharkin808, Student Albatross, and Bregvids, amongst others. And I even made a short video about it. This isn't really a gold farming channel, it's an exploit channel, but there's some crossover when you get an interesting opportunity like this. Subsequently, Reckless at Want to Buy Gold, which I think is the largest currently active gold making channel, made a video calling out other gold making YouTubers. In Reckless's view, taking advantage of what he considered bugged loot tables in old instances was an exploit likely to get players banned. Student Albatross, who'd been involved with farming the vanilla items, made a response video arguing that the farming did not constitute an exploit. Now, although I'm not a gold farmer, I have considerable experience with what does and does not get you banned, and I thought it would be useful for someone like me to offer their perspective on the situation. I'm going to try and be as even-handed here as possible. First, in his video, Want to Buy Gold pointed to the Warcraft Terms and Conditions, Paragraph C, License Limitations, Subsection 2, where it clearly forbids the use of exploits. The problem with the Terms and Conditions is that Blizzard rarely actually bans people for using exploits, and there's a very good reason for this it would be horrendously impractical for them to do so because in a great many cases the player involved will have no idea they're using an exploit. For example, it is quite common when classes are redesigned that some abilities interact in a way that is unintentional and creates overpowered DPS, healing or survivability. But no one really has any idea that is the case. As far as they are concerned, that is just regular gameplay. Sometimes, of course, you might be able to guess something is a glitch rather than standard gameplay. To take example from very recently, a few weeks ago, rogues discovered that spamming Fam of Knives, an AoE ability, was optimal even against single targets when used as part of their rotation because of its interaction with the Poison Knife ability. Experienced players might suspect that an AoE ability shouldn't be optimal against single targets. But even with an example like this, it's just an informed guess at best. Now, Want to Buy Gold further cited a fell slate mining exploit from the beginning of Legion to show that gold farmers could get banned. Want to Buy Gold refers to a Crocolisk world quest. Now, I think he is conflating two different exploits here. Please leave uh, comments below if I'm incorrect in my assumptions here. I think what he's referring to was a world quest exploit where you could essentially repeat the world quest and get infinite artifact power, and that wasn't directly relevant to gold farming. I don't know of any exploit involving crocolists in Legion, and I couldn't find one when I searched, but there was a fell slate exploit involving basilisks. And with both of these historical exploits, the participants must have been aware that something was seriously wrong. World quests are obviously not meant to be repeatable, and the basilisk exploit required a player to be at mana cap and collude with a confederate. And that simply isn't the same thing as farming an instance. It was reasonable in both cases to assume that both sets of exploiters knew that something was wrong and that they were taking advantage of it. 
Now, obviously, this isn't a moral judgment on, on my part. I use exports all the time, and mostly I know what I'm doing. I'm just explaining the position from the perspective of Blizzard. It is worth pointing out that on my own video about the vanilla items dropping in Zulfarak, one of the most common questions I got was, how do I know what a vanilla item is? So clearly many people farming old instances currently will simply be unaware of what is going on with the loot tables. And for that reason it would be grotesquely unfair, not to mention financially costly, for Blizzard to ban people on that basis. Now, where I think Want to Buy Gold has the germ of a legitimate point is that it is always worth considering the possibility of being banned for a given activity. My personal estimate would be that the probability of receiving a ban for attempting to profit from bugged loot tables is probably less than 5%. But 5% is still a significant possibility. That will happen one time in 20. It could be, for an example, that you get some new manager of game protection at Blizzard with a really tiny cock that wants to make his mark. But it is not very likely based on historical precedent and analysis of Blizzard's behaviour patterns that they would in fact take serious countermeasures against players for using this bug glue table. Additionally, there's a question of whether this is actually an exploit. And it very much depends on what your definition of exploit is. But my belief is that it probably is. At first I thought it may have just been a decision to add some interesting vanilla items to old instances. But the fact that some items such as the bijous were removed, and some items such as the Zulfarak coins are no longer dropping, would suggest strongly that Blizzard have just messed up here. That said, the moral, ethical and probably legal responsibility for the loot table is ultimately Blizzard's, and the balance of probabilities suggests to me strongly based on my experience that Blizzard will not take any action against player accounts unless they suspect other activities such as botting and accompanying it. Therefore, if you farmed some vanilla items from an old instance in the last few days, then your account is probably safe. The exception might be if you've been farming 24-7 and are sitting on a stack of items. Then you should probably stop because there's an increasing danger you might be confused with a botter. Also note that Blizzard usually, though not exclusively, ban in stages. So even if a ban did occur, it would be initially for a trivial period of hours or days. Now I'm not going to comment on the personal side of this except to say I watch want to buy gold, student, sharken and brag on a regular basis and find their content both interesting, useful and enjoyable. If you'd like to know more about this subject then you might want to look at my can I get banned for using this exploit video which I'll link to below where I discuss what type of exploits do and do not get you banned based on my own experience and those of other veteran exploiters. I'll also link to the videos surrounding the vanilla item farms if you want to know the context of this discussion. Thank you for watching, this has been Archfeld.